to the latest on that situation on the I-15. We are told that plane was trying to land at the Henderson Executive Airport, but it ran out of fuel. You can see that traffic back up behind me. Let's get right out to Parker Collins. He is live with more on how this on all unfolded. Parker. Dana, the plane is just a few feet behind me. You can see it. They were able to pull it off on the side of the road here. We're told there was an instructor and a student on board. They ran out of fuel. They were trying to get to the Henderson Airport, but they just couldn't make it. So they landed out here. These are the southbound lanes of the 15, a little bit past uh, Sloan's a little bit ways back there. It's kind of chill out here because there really weren't any injuries in this. I think they were able to land it pretty safely and then get it off the road. I don't even really see any damage on that plane, but if you can come back out here, I want you to notice that the 15, although it is clear, here, it is going pretty slowly and it's been like that for several hours since I've been out here. So I think Yasmin will have a bit more on the traffic impact this is having Yasmin. Yeah, Parker, even though no lanes of traffic are blocked off, we always see drivers slowing down. Not only do we have troopers out there, but of course there's a plane on the side of the road, so people are going to be slowing down to see exactly what's going on. Now, Parker mentioned that the uh, pilot was trying to land at the airport out here, so this is the area of the airport, but the plane actually landed right here. So southbound 15 right near Sloan, like Parker mentioned, it is causing this backup. There's that red and yellow just about a couple of miles. You're going to see that bumper to bumper traffic out here. Here's another look at what's happening. You can see lots of flashing lights. There is the plane and here's all the backup. But again, everything is off the road. But zooming out, you can see it is slowing things down this morning. So Dana, if you do need to head to the south part of town, maybe you want to take Las Vegas Boulevard instead of the 15. Otherwise, it's definitely going to slow you down if you're heading to the south side. All right, yes, I mean, thanks for the update. Yeah, what a situation out there. Obviously, as she said, I'll try and avoid that if you can, at least for the time being and probably a few more hours. All right.